Right, then are we ready? So there's more, so Newton's third law. If body A exerts a force on body B, then body B exerts an equal force on body A, but in the opposite direction. So, like, the weight is a force is a result of the Earth pulling an object towards its centre. The object pulls the Earth towards itself as an equal and opposite force. Right? When an object is at rest on the surface, the Earth still pulls the object and vice versa. So there must be a normal reaction. So we put normal reactions on stuff before. Right then. So it says a book of mass, 0.5 kilos, is placed in a flat horizontal shaft. So here's my book. It's exerting a force of 0.5 g. It's not ploughing through. So the table is pushing back. It's stopping it. And it's got R. How's that? So it's because the resultant force pushes back. The shelf is pushing back. So it's in equilibrium. It tends to be that vertically yeah, it's in equilibrium. So F equals MA. So the forces are in equilibrium, so they're equal to zero. So R minus a half of G is zero. R is a half of G. But G was 10, so R is 5 newtons to one sig fig. There we go. We're just setting these up all the time. It's very nice. So a piece of electronic equipment of mass 40. Oh, God, I hate this one. So a piece of... I'm going to have time for it now. A piece of electronic equipment of mass 40 kilos is designed for use in an off-road vehicle. Its robustness is tested by placing it on a platform, which is subjected to random vertical vibrations. The acceleration may be as large as 7 up or down. Right, find the largest and smallest of values. Okay. So let's think about what's going... If it's going up. So here's my... Seven, uh, my 40 kilos, so 40 G. It's got a normal reaction, so if it's going up, it has an acceleration of 7 going up. So if I do F equals MA, there. Now, normally, everything, now, normally, vertically, everything's fine. It's just in equilibrium. But this one's kind of bouncing it up and down. So my resultant force, which is up, take, down, is equal to mass times acceleration. So up is R, 40 G is opposing it, and then the mass is 40 and the acceleration is 7. So R is equal to 40 lots of 7 plus 40 lots of G. So R is 280 plus 40 G. Now it doesn't tell us what G is, does it? Oh, it says I leave it in terms of G. So that's 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 going up. Going down, be careful with time now. Got my 40 G, got my R. This time it's going down with an acceleration of 7. So if I do F equals MA, whoops, so the force in the direction of travel minus the force opposing it is mass times acceleration. So this time I've got 40 G minus R is 40 lots of 7. So 40g minus the 280 is equal to r. So you can see that this one's going to be the largest and this one's going to be the smallest. Generally, like literally every exam paper, never ever seen a question like this where it bounces it up and down. Uh, so we always take vertically as zero. It's proper random. But the one day you don't teach it is the day it comes up. So there you go. Right, I'm going to stop there and I'll do the next example um, on the next. Good.